Right guys, welcome back to part 2 of my man in the middle slash sniffing tutorial. As you can see during the uh, break, I've sorted out my problem. I just needed to reset my adapter and reconnect to the network and poison, uh, restart the poisoning process. Uh, and it was successful. If you have problems like uh, like I have, I'll go through it at the end on how to stop poisoning etc um, as it can cause a bit of problems anyway now that you've got the poisoning working you can view statistics view how many packets you've dropped etc etc um, if you're not really into wireless networking and uh, networking technologies in general you possibly won't get the terminologies or the um, what all the statistics mean. However, we will move on now to SSL strip. Uh, for this, I've told you. I've told you what it what what SSL strip does. Uh, we need to activate it to sniff the connection that we have set up between the gateway and the victim. So we need to use the following command: SSL strip. And we need to use the parameters dash a, dash k, dash f. So that's dash a, dash k, dash f. I'm not going to go into what the parameters uh, do or mean, um, because to be honest, SSL strip, I could write a whole tutorial on how to use it itself. Uh, the same with Driftnet, I will just explain what they do with Driftnet. Right, and press enter and that will activate SSL strip. It won't do anything yet unless your victim is doing anything. It won't do anything on mine certainly because my victim, me, is not doing anything on the other system. So you will just see it hovering around doing nothing. That is SSL strip set up and active. For driftnet you will need to use the following command driftnet dash V for verbose mode and dash I which will specify the connection you want to use to um, with the connection that you're using to connect to the internet which in this case in my case is uh, Ethernet 0 or ETH 0 and then press enter it is now it is uh, now started the drift net session don't be worried the black box will appear this is where your pictures will turn up they will not turn up in the shell they'll turn up in this little black um, window what you'll see if you look at this if the victim surfs to a website such as YouTube you'll see the connections the uh, you'll see text in the background showing up as to what the connection is doing and in this window you will see pictures uh, scrolling from the bottom upwards I believe it's from the bottom upwards so that is SSL strip and driftnet sorted Etacap should still be doing not a lot yep and I will now try and demonstrate the driftnet, uh, driftnet working I would demonstrate how SSL strip works because, but I have not um, set up a test account on any SSL enabled website to test it. If you want you can uh, sniff your own connection and use or sniff a connection and use YouTube or Facebook. The, all those accounts use SSL and secure socket layer and you can sniff them to your heart's content and you'll see your passwords shoot up in front. But uh, as for this tutorial I don't want everyone seeing my password but however I will endeavour to show you how Driftnet works as you can see a new connection is being established in the background and by the victim and you will see the connection being formed in the background and the actual shell window and hopefully he says you should see uh, pictures from the YouTube homepage showing up in the driftnet window in the driftnet window 
Etacap. I don't believe will show anything because I'm not logged in on YouTube. And neither will uh, SSL strip. But if you if your if your victim was logging into YouTube uh, using username username password and inputting all the data, this would be flowing with code and uh, text and showing you the username and password of the victim. Uh, this technique is a very um, a very dangerous technique to be using. Um, Oh, it's a very dangerous technique to be aware of. You must be aware that this this technique can be used anywhere. I could sit in a, an internet cafe and use this technique and uh, f farm a lot of passwords uh, from people around. This is why I will um, not use my banking. I use online banking. I will not do it via wireless connection. I will not do it outside my own house. And this is for the reason. This is this for this reason. And I mean, these these techniques are not they're not hard to be doing. They're not hard to do. Uh, YouTube, dis as by the looks of it, decided to uh, be on a go slow today. But hopefully, it'll uh, try and load. Uh, restart the browser. But uh, the one thing I will say is you do need to take care. Do not, when you finish doing this, um, when you finish doing the man in the middle, uh, finish doing the sniffing, do not just close down all the software. Do not close down all the programs. You can close down SSL strip and Driftnet, but do not close down Etacap. As far as Etacap is concerned, you are still performing a mad, uh, an ARP cache poisoning until it is told otherwise. Um, YouTube is not deciding to load, so this has been a bit of a fail fail tutorial. However, it's taught you how to do it, and all these techniques work. It's been proven in the past so many times. Um, to close it down, I will show you quickly. Uh, Driftnet, you can either close it by Control C in the shell or just by pressing X in the window. Right click, close session close session. Uh, same with SSL strip, uh, control C while on the window and close session. Then confirm. Etacap you will need to get off the statistics you don't need that anymore. M go to man in the middle and go to stop man in the middle attack or attacks. You need to do this because you need to restore the ARP cache of the victim and the gateway that you are poisoning. If you don't, the person will suffer from sluggy connections, um, sluggish connections, but they uh, might not be able to connect to the uh, router. They will know that you've done that something has happened to their connection. Uh, what I will also say is, if you are uh, just a random Joe blogs trying to do this on the neighbor's network or on your own network and you're just playing around with it. Um, I will say is if you're doing this make sure you're doing you follow these steps on how to shut down because if you don't and you're caught playing around with it you're likely to get into shit by your uh, parents or university campus or wherever. Uh, next thing you need to do is go to start stop sniffing once it says unified sniffing stopped, you're fine to close. And there we have it. Sometimes, uh, most of the time, SSL strip uh, saves a log file of the session that you've opened using SSL strip. Um, a lot of text shows up in SSL strip very quickly, uh, so it's a good thing to double check the the log that uh, saves on your desktop. Um, that that's basically it. You've, if you've followed all the steps and conducted all that to the letter, you uh, should have performed a perfect man in the middle uh, attack and SSL strip. Um, 
so congratulations i've been semtex primed if you want to come and have a chat or private message me um come down to iexploit.org and yeah just private message me or comment on one of my tutorials up to you uh, and i'll try and help if you've got any problems alternatively leave me a comment on the video and i'll try and get back to you anyway take it easy and uh, use the tools safely